here, sitting here on the porch today, having my coffee with all of you. A little excitement with the hens, or one hen at any rate, yesterday. I got a little bit of footage, so uh, just a teeny bit, hours after it happened. So here, take a look at this. Hey, chick, chick, chick. Look at this poor chicken. She's all bloody on the side of her neck. It's my fault. I went shopping. I went into town. I had Papa with me. And I left the chickens in the van coop for too long. I mean, it was basically three hours longer than they're used to. And look at this one. Oh my gosh. Do I need to like... She's, she's separated from the rest of the chickens. Oh, that poor baby. It's not Patsy. Oh gosh. Romeo, he just... He gets rough with them. She's okay, though, right? I think she's okay. This morning, it looks like she's doing okay. So, uh, yeah, I filmed them over in the yard, and I'm just going to leave them in the yard till they all laid their eggs. But bright and early, before I even made my coffee, I went out and just let them all out. Well, I let the chickens out bright and early. First thing this morning, just because that one over there, that one leghorn, that's the one that got pecked. You can't see her neck right now from this angle. But she's got no new pecking. Um, the blood is drying and she doesn't seem to be acting weird. Um, but I did let them out earlier this morning just so they wouldn't be cooped up so that I could keep an eye on them. I've got the, the door to the outside cage closed so that they don't free range. I just want it. There you go. You can see that now. I'm not going inside the pen any closer. Um, so she looks like she's on the mend already. The other two leghorns are up in the van laying an egg. So I am going to try and keep them, you know, out here as, as long as I can. Just first thing in the morning, let them out instead of waiting until they all lay their eggs. I'm just going to let them out try and keep them in the yard until their egg laying is done and then let them free range but she's okay it's very very distressing seeing something like this <laughs> you just laid an egg didn't you yep. there's the pet here. she looks 100% better this morning Somebody just laid in there. All three leghorns are out there, so I bet you I got three legs, three eggs in there. All three of the other horns are out too, so I'm going to go check and see if I got me some eggs. Uh, only three eggs so far, but it's still pretty early. I don't even think it's 8 o'clock yet this morning. Good girl, Miss Press. Lay yourself an egg. So basically, all I did last night is I... Well, I got the, the one hen into the yard and watched her, and then the rest the rest came into the yard, and I just watched them very closely so that there wouldn't be any more pecking, and then at night, I, they just all went up into the van, and I, <laughs> I figured that um, they would all be sleeping, so hopefully they, they wouldn't peck at her, and then I got up first thing bright and early in the morning and let them out right away so that <laughs> Romeo wouldn't go after this one hen. I know that roosters pick their favorite hen and Mr. Lucas has picked uh, Mama because <laughs> he's got Mama over there. That's his favorite hen and she's missing little feathers up on <laughs> up on her neck too. Um, and so maybe this is just uh, Romeo's favorite hen. I've watched him when he's mating with the chickens and he, he normally grabs onto their combs so you can see some little scabby parts on their their combs um, but it looks like this chicken he grabbed onto her neck and just really went after her and I mean there was you could tell there was a ruckus in the van because their big water tub was completely dumped over and it looked like there was a little bit of blood on the bottom of the of the uh, water tub but so I'm gonna keep them in the yard as long as I can today hopefully they'll all lay their eggs I'm gonna let them out and then hopefully it'll go well. Um, they don't seem to be pecking at her. So 
Yeah, I did some stuff with the garden beds yesterday, and I'm going to pull that clear tarp off and see what's going on underneath it there. So, I'm hoping there's some plants that are sprouting. It looks like there is a lot of stuff going on. Oh, yes. All right, let's, let's go over here first, see what this is. Okay, what do we got? I think these are cucumbers. Cucumbers, yep. These are all cucumbers. What are these? Um, cayenne. Nothing's coming up there. There is something in here. I think this is cayenne too. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna need to check that out. There's a little something in there, right there. Um, I don't know, that could be a weed. I don't know though, because I think there was cayenne that, from my seeds. Yeah, I think these are both cayenne. I'm gonna have to check to make sure which is which. I think these are my old seeds. That may be one because these, I'm pretty sure are all cayenne and they look just like this. I think these are the seeds from that little packet that was sent to me and they're all coming up. None of mine are, but we got cucumbers and look at this herb garden. All right, that's kind of like a freaky deaky looking one. Don't know what that is. Um, but there's more over here. So yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of those coming up. Let's see if I can get out of the sun. Here, let's move this over a little bit. All right, all different kinds of herbs. There's something coming up. This is the summer savory. Uh, I don't know, is that dill? I think that might be dill. And then all kinds of different stuff coming up around here. So I'll just have to go back to my old videos and um, use those little stakes, wooden stakes, and uh, put them down in there. This here, let's see, there doesn't look like anything's going. This is lemon balm. Gosh, why have I not had any luck with lemon balm? Goodness, that's the tarragon. Nothing coming up in there. Nothing in there, nothing in there. But look at this, you guys. Look, you see that from the other angle? Can you see it right? <laughs> right there pushing the dirt up what is that that is butternut squash oh yes i got butternut squash coming up i'm just gonna let it push the dirt out itself what's over here eggplant nothing coming up in the eggplant but it will i have faith nothing in this one nothing in this one that's the arugula and i gotta show you what happened to the arugula um, I took those plastic coverings off from the top because look at this right here. Those look burnt. Those look burnt over there too. But we've got some coming up over here, so that's okay. Um, hopefully at least a few more of these will sprout, but I think they just got burnt. I don't remember what I planted in here, but there's one little thing coming up there. There's one little thing coming up there, and this is cilantro, right on. Nothing in there, but look at here, you guys. These are tomatoes. These are the cherry tomatoes. They're the big cherry tomatoes. I've got one little pod that's cropping up there. Beef steak tomatoes, and these are the cheap beef steak tomatoes. There's one there, one there, one there. But look at almost all of these from the Patriot Seed Vault are coming up. Yep, that's fine. And this is the jalapeno bucket. Do you think those are jalapenos or do you think those are weeds? Because remember, I pulled this uh, dirt off my own land. I don't know. I'm thinking it looks good. All right. What's over here? What is over here? Oh, there's beans. Yep. Bean here. Bean here. Oh, I think that's all that's going on in there. These are all beans, I'm pretty sure. Um, 
so I don't know. These are the cheap beans, and I think, yeah, these over here are the cheap beans, and these are the beans that were sent to me. But look at this. What is this, you guys? Look. Zucchini! I got one, two zucchini plants coming up. And over here, I think this may be zucchini as well. I don't know. What does that say? I think it's zucchini. We're just going to wait and see. Uh, what's over here? Oh, these are the peppers. These are the multicolored peppers. There's nothing in there. And that might be something. These are just green bell peppers. I'm not really sure. But I'm going to fill the soil. Most of it looks pretty damp to me. I'm just going to let them be out in the sun today. I'm going to have to keep the chickens away. I might get some of that white netting and just cover it up so that they don't get in here. But it looks like it's all doing pretty good. What is that? Hopefully it's just not a weed. Anyhow, yeah, my garden's doing pretty good, don't you think? And check that out, you guys. What do you think that is? Gosh, did I drop a seed down there? Or is this just something? I don't know. I'm going to let it come up and see what it is. I finished this one too. Yeah, I've just put these bags around because this has been so muddy over here. Now remember, this is dug down at least the size of this uh, raised garden bed. So in the bottom is wood, a bunch of leaves and whatnot. And then soil. And I also put some hummus and manure in here because I didn't really enrich it like with the other stuff I did in the other beds like the uh, coffee grounds, eggshells and stuff like that. So yep, I'm going to make this a little greenhouse too. Uh, I'm not going to plant anything right down in the ground just quite yet, but that's coming. Look what I found at the dollar store. I bought 11 of them. I think I've got one inside with some stuff in it, but these are nice big pots. Now I'm going to drill a couple holes, not in the bottom, but in the sides so I can get some drainage. Um, it has little places where you can drill holes in the bottom, but I've just found it seems to work better if you just put it in the sides. That'll help you retain a little bit more fluid. But these were all a dollar a piece and they're nice big pots. They probably won't last more than a year because this is pretty cheap plastic, but who knows? I'm gonna use it this year and I could not believe I found these big pots. This is awesome. Looky here, I was out thrifting yesterday while my chickens were being attacked inside the coop and I drove by this antique store and I found this outside. The guy sold it to me for five bucks and it is watertight, but I'm gonna be drilling holes in the side, just a few of them. This is going to make a fantastic planter to plant something in. So I'm building up the raised garden bed situation and I'll be using these buckets too to plant in. There's, I've got numerous that are available and ready to be planted in. So yeah, look at that. I can't believe I found it. My goodness. You know what, Miss Pris, you take forever to lay an egg and now we got Roxy in there. All right, you guys know what to do. It's only 11.30, so I shouldn't be so hard on them. They've been going in and out of the yard, so I know I've got at least three in there. There's two hens in there laying. So I'm gonna get at least five eggs today. I don't know, I'm thinking it's gonna be six, but I went ahead and covered that uh, greenhouse back up because the chickens, when they're free ranging, that is one of their favorite spots to go. So I've just kind of covered it up a little bit. And those other two, I'm gonna go get the shower curtain plastic thingies and cover them up too because I don't want the chickens getting in there and scratching around and whatnot. Two more greenhouses ready. Yep, that one's all ready. <laughs> it never fails, does it? Uh, so this one's completely covered. This one, uh, the shower curtain, and they're just these little shower curtain liner cheapy things. Um, this one's too short. So I've got some more plastic that I can just use to enclose the end here. It'll be fine. Um, I'm not planning in these yet. Anyhow, I just want to keep the chickens out because a little earlier today, see what they did. They're already trying to get stuff out. <laughs> I'm going to go check those eggs. So yeah, a little later today, um, I'm going to go ahead and water these and then cover them up. Because tonight it's supposed to get down to, I think, about 36 or 38. Goodness, noisy rooster. So, yeah, it's coming along.
Well, Miss Pris finally made it out of the nesting box. Everybody else is just out here chilling out next to each other. Look at that poor hen. Oh, my baby. All right, Lola. So let's go see if we got any eggs. Five. After all that, I figured I would have had six. Wait a second. There is six. Oh, my gosh. Good chickens. What is it with these 15-minute videos? Oh, my goodness. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.